Welcome back, you're still watching uh, Nile Cruz and moving through the first segment of this edition and the, uh, definitely the political segment. Uh, in his first speech in the United States as Egypt's uh, president, Abdel Fattah Sisi called on developed countries to invest in renewable energy projects in the Middle East to help a region to shift to a more environmentally friendly business model. Speaking during a brief speech delivered before the Climate Change Summit at the 69th United Nations General Assembly, the CC represented the UN's Arab group in the speech, and the president said there is a need for collaboration of efforts to reduce global warming. The CC linked regional environment and economic conditions. The CC has a busy schedule on his visit to the United States, at the top of which is a meeting with the President Barack Obama, he met also with the former U.S. Secretaries of State Henry Kissinger and Marilyn Albright. We're speaking more about this topic with Dr. Ibrahim Ghazali, lecturer of Human Rights and International Law. I'd like to thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. So let's start first with uh, what are your main remarks? You know about you know speaking in general about the Climate Change Summit at the 69th United Nations General Assembly. Well, climate change is a real concern today, more than ever actually. The very quick tempo of uh, technological boom you know, that happens over uh, you know, an hour basis uh, makes the new products and new uh, inventions uh, more burden on, on, on the uh, environment actually. Yes. And uh, uh, having that summit on environment and climate change would do a lot of positive impact in, uh, in gathering the international community members' uh, will and determination to cooperate more, and because this is a huge pro project and very ambitious one, and one country or even several countries can, cannot do anything alone. Yes. So the unanimous international um, agreement on, on such a concern that is really affecting every individual on the planet is really a good achievement. Uh, hopefully, they will uh, they will continue this productive uh, uh, studies and also productive moves and projects um, collectively, aiming at reducing the uh, the temperature of the planet and uh, um, like handling in a scientific, uh, acceptable manner uh, the threats that face the environment today. Uh, we talk about Africa, for instance, the green areas are diminishing quickly and that aggravates the, the, the feelings and, and even the process of uh, desertification and has very negative impact on the, the overall environmental conditions in the whole world. So such summits, uh, hopefully, will, will do uh, positive uh, influence or impact on, um, uh, on the direction of making to the tangible and positive change. Yes, uh, definitely when we're looking at uh, you know, the, the climate change and the protest that was happening across the globe at the same time, there was a lot of criticism uh, that you know, such an assembly would not come up with an outcome to be a, an execution in plan, if I may say. Well, yes, clearly uh, you are right, actually. Uh, we know that the, uh, uh, the, the uh, climate uh, change um, I think this is the best time. Come on, interrupting. This is the best time to be speaking about climate. Uh, yeah, but we, 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 it's we, so very much uh, related with the hot weather. We, 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 very hot weather, actually. We're so kind of, you know, enjoying the sun. But again, it is um, Egypt. You know, with with uh, September, we use it this time of year to have this beautiful yeah, uh, weather. True. Now we're living w w yeah. while we're having the interview together. It's, it's almost 40 degrees and, uh, and true. it's the end of September. That's true and, and you, are, you are right. Actually, this is the, the one of the very negative impact of uh, climate change. I understand that Egypt is also within the zones that is highly affected by the... Actually, uh, all the areas in the world, but in Egypt, because we are mostly a desertous area, so we feel the effect even more than other countries. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, the, the huge or the big industrial uh, powers in the world who caused mainly that kind of climate change and probably they are uh, um, you know less enthusiastic to change their uh, production and industrial attitude uh, which is mainly contributing negatively in right. this process 
that's why the summit is uh, the, the success of that summit and other similar summits very much linked to a sincere wish from the big industrial countries really to review their um, you know technical um, um, uh, uh, ways of production and industry yes because they are mainly uh, the cause for that or behind that kind of, of change. You know? Definitely, yeah. development and the climate change is always, you know, um, two aspects that are opposite to each other and always conflicting. Yeah. Now, uh, what were the main issues tackled in, in, in President Sisi's speech at the summit? And what is the symbolism of Egypt representing the Arab group in the uh, climate summit? Um, well, the speech itself was a, um, a real embodiment of the, the Egyptian and Arab realities in recent days, actually. And uh, the speech uh, included uh, all the necessary concerns, not only of Egypt as a, as a society, but uh, in the, the whole Arab world, actually, because we, if, if we look into the situation today for the Arab region, we are all, uh, you know, trapped more or less in the same complications and, and the same uh, political chaos and the same security uh, threats and, and the same transition, difficult transition processes. Yes. So he, while he was even talking about Egypt internally, still most of his speech applies to all the Arab countries. And actually he was very uh, um, determined and tactful in terms of covering the, the, the needed areas and he covered it in a very good way. Do you think, uh, you know, the, 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 the statements and the speech was was very oriented towards Egypt? I would say 90% is, uh, which was about Egypt. Well, I, it, it didn't come as a surprise to me. I even said it in a, in a previous uh, um, uh, interview that I predicted that he would do that and I totally agree with him. The, the idea is the whole world, the, the, the General Assembly is called the other nickname for General Assembly is the, the Parliament of the World. Because all the, the 194 uh, state members of the UN are represented in the General Assembly. And this is the only UN organ where, where the whole community, international community is represented. So if he doesn't say that in, in this uh, event and in that uh, spot or location at the heart of the UN, and, and before the whole international community representative, where else he could say that? But do you think there is, uh, there, there is relevancy between the climate change topic and introducing the new Egypt with uh, the, the will of the Egyptian people for the majority of the speech? Well, the, yeah, t to some extent, yes, there is relevance. But probably the most important thing is that it was a very good